Hey guys, date the rate, marry the house. Now, what does that mean? That means that if we went back in time to a year ago, the market was a completely different animal, right? A year ago, buyers that were in the marketplace were experiencing multiple offers on every listing. They were being asked to sign escalation clauses that would maybe sometimes mean they were paying 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, $100,000 more than the list price. People were being asked to do appraisal waivers, inspection waivers, appraisal gap language, non-refundable earnest money. It's an incredible time to be a buyer in what we might call a frenzy market. Now, fast forward to today, the market's undergoing a complete shift, right? And what that means is there's a lot more to choose from. There's a lot more listings on the market. List prices are coming down in a lot of price categories. We're seeing a lot less buyers in the market. So that means that buyers actually that are left or have real power to come in and negotiate. Some of them are even coming in under list price. They're certainly not letting go of inspections or appraisals now. So what a change. Now, what's the hesitation though? Why wouldn't a buyer want to buy today when they've got this completely uh, more power in the market than they did a year ago. The reason why some buyers are hesitating is because of interest rates. It's no secret. And interest rates are probably going to be rising even further. So this idea that we date the rate but marry the house is such an important idea to explain to your buyer clients. Because if the hesitation is interest rates, what we can do is say, hey, listen, we're going to marry the house. But if rates in the future over the next couple of years, three or four or five years come down, you simply can refinance, refinance that property. But if we all agree that home prices, even though they're not going to appreciate at the same level they did for the last five years, but they're still going to appreciate. And that's what every economist in the country believes, by the way. Uh, and you're going to believe that it appreciates at three, four five percent a year, kind of back to a healthy pre-COVID level. Then that means if we wait to purchase a house, what we're waiting, uh, while we're waiting, home prices are going to rise. And it's likely, guys, that interest rates are going to continue to rise, at least for the foreseeable future. So a buyer has a couple of choices. You can enter the market now, get the lowest price you're going to probably get, and get the lowest interest rates you're going to get, at least for now. If they change, you can refinance, right? But if you wait, here's the challenge. You're probably going to be a renter. And what we know is rising without question is rental prices, right? Rental prices are on track to rise at least 10% this year, maybe more, and they're gonna to continue to rise going forward. So if there's a difference between being a renter and being an owner, let's be an owner, right? Date the rate, marry the house, great concept, I love it. Go out there and try that language with your clients.